so it is 5 14 a.m tuesday may 4th here in japan and this question is not overly crazy however the nbmes for step one have these biochemistry type questions where it's like look you just need to know your fucking enzymes okay in the fed versus fasting state there's a lot we can talk about but this dude he went for a 10 mile run he had nothing but water and questions just asking what is the status of our enzymes up or down okay so we're just going to walk through this pyruvate kinase what is that it's the last enzyme in glycolysis it converts phosphoenyl pyruvate to pyruvate that's an anabolic enzyme okay it's only going to be increased in activity if we're in the fed state this guy's clearly in the fasting state so we can eliminate a through f right away okay so we have these bottom answers with the down arrow for pyruvate kinase. Our next enzyme is phosphoenol. The fuck am I saying right now? Literally, I can't read. Like, I'm starting to read this one. Our next enzyme is phosphofructokinase 2. Now, this is an interesting enzyme. I don't want to get too tangential right now, but essentially, we have a rate limiting enzyme in glycolysis, phosphofructokinase 1, which is converting fructose 6 phosphate to fructose 1 6 bisphosphate. Phosphofructokinase 1, PFK1, is the rate limiting enzyme in glycolysis. Okay, so normally we have glucose, goes to glucose 6 phosphate, fructose 6 phosphate, fructose 1 6 bisphosphate. However, fructose 6 phosphate, rather than moving simply forward in glycolysis to F16 BP, it can actually be shunted sideways to a molecule called F26 BP, OMG, okay, via PFK2. Now, this side pathway, the production of F26BP, this molecule is a positive allosteric regulator of PFK1 in glycolysis. If that sounds confusing, I get it. The point is, F26BP is going to be increased in the fed state. It's going to be decreased in the fasting state, okay? So PFK2, this guy's fasting, we would expect that to be decreased. All right, so we look at our down arrows here and we see, okay, H is the only one with an up arrow. So now we're just looking at I through M, okay? Down arrow for pyruvate kinase, down arrow for phosphofructokinase 2. Now we look at glycogen phosphorylase. This enzyme breaks down glycogen, okay? So glycogen synthase builds up, glycogen phosphorylase builds down. McCardle syndrome, deficiency of muscle glycogen phosphorylase, as a, an example, it's breaking down glycogen, okay? So we would expect this in the fasting state to be increased. So we look at our answers here, I through M, and we can see that uh, M is the only one with a down arrow, so that's wrong. So now we're just looking at I, J, and, I, J K, and L. So, so far in the fasting state, pyruvate kinase decreased in activity. PFK2 decreased, glycogen phosphorylase increased, okay? Now we look at phosphoenol pyruvate carboxykinase. This is also known as PEP carboxykinase. This enzyme is gluconeogenic. So we said before that pyruvate kinase converts phosphoenol pyruvate to pyruvate as the last step of glycolysis. Now our pyruvate can go many different directions now. This can get very fucking confusing very fucking fast, okay? Pyruvate can move forward into the Krebs cycle via pyruvate dehydrogenase, okay? It can go sideways to lactate via lactate dehydrogenase if we're anaerobic. Pyruvate can also, if we want to go back to glucose, how do we do that, okay? So pyruvate kinase is an irreversible enzyme. We can't go directly backwards from pyruvate to phosphoenol pyruvate. Okay, we can't do that. So if we want to go back from pyruvate to glucose, we actually, and this is weird, we have to go from pyruvate down to oxaloacetate, literally in the TCA cycle. You say, but Michael, I thought that was anabolic. I know it sounds weird, but we're not going from pyruvate to acetyl CoA in the TCA cycle. In order, for, in order to generate ATP. That's not what we're doing right now. We're actually going from pyruvate to the last substrate in the TCA cycle, oxaloacetate, via pyruvate carboxylase. And then once we're at oxaloacetate, 
we have phosphorylinopyruvate carboxykinase, which can bring oxaloacetate back up to PEP, phosphorylinopyruvate, which can then make its way back up to glucose. I know it sounds confusing, but that's the only way that we can get from pyruvate back to PEP. We have to go through oxaloacetate to do that. Okay, so this is a gluconeogenic enzyme. In the fasting state, we would expect this to be increased. Okay, so let's look at our answers again, I through L. So if we expect this to be increased, that means I or J. These are the only two answers that make sense, okay, because we have decreased pyruvate kinase, we have decreased phosphofructokinase 2, we've got uh, increased glycogen phosphorylase, and we've got increased phosphorylinopyruvate carboxykinase in the fasting state. Now we look at our last enzyme, carnitine acyltransferase. It's an up or a down arrow, OMG, which one's it going to be? Now the carnitine shuttle is. It serves the purpose of beta oxidation of fatty acids. It's going to be increased in the catabolic state. Okay, so our correct answer is choice I, where we have an up arrow for carnitine acyltransferase. If we are gluconeogenic and we are catabolic, we are also going to be attempting to liberate energy from fatty acids via beta oxidation. We could even be ketogenic, producing ketones. The purpose of carnitine acyltransferase is to move fatty acids from the cytosol into the mitochondrion, and then those fatty acids are cleaved, where we get two carbon units of acetyl-CoA. If we have an odd chain fatty acid, we get propionyl-CoA, which will make its way into the TCA cycle, okay? But when the majority of the cleavage is going to yield two carbon acetyl-CoAs, and those can be assembled together to make ketones. Okay, so carnitine shuttle, this is active in the catabolic state. There's so much we can talk about. Uh, this is this the carnitine shuttle is inhibited in the anabolic state by malonyl CoA when we have fatty acid synthesis. Okay, I'll make other questions on the biochemistry. So, look, without making this a 17 minute clip, just in short recapitulation, in the fasting state, we're going to have uh, decreased activity of pyruvate kinase, we're going to have decreased activity of phosphofructokinase 2. We're going to have increased glycogen phosphorylase activity. We are going to have increased phospholenol pyruvate carboxykinase activity, and we're going to have increased carnitine acyl transferase activity. Okay. Know these enzymes. I'm going to make more questions on this stuff. Okay. But memorize this for the fasting state, and then it would just be the reverse for the fed state. Okay. So if you like my stuff, Subscribe to my channel, and I appreciate your time. That's it.